I just uh, till the first of May. So uh, at the beginning, we just tried to improve control on ads. That was I was explaining just before that uh, we want to be sure that the user will see the ad we have chosen for him for a specific keyword. So uh, we activate exact match type to control traffic. I don't know if everyone know about match type. Uh, for exact match type is, for example, um, red uh, laptop. I'm selling red laptop. So exact match type is uh, my ad will appear only when uh, the user is uh, typing red laptop. Phrase match type is my user will appear, for example, with that red laptop in the middle of a sentence. I want to buy a red laptop. Okay, it's phrase. And my ad can be uh, displayed. And broad match type, uh, Google will put uh, some of synonyms, some of uh, keywords are, that are easy, it's close to that request. So, for example, uh, I will appear on red PC, or red uh, Apple, or red Mac, or red everywhere you want. Uh, our green laptop uh, because Google thinks it's really close, so it thinks you may be relevant. So that uh, broad match type can be really cool because you will appear on queries you don't think about, but can be really uh, dangerous because, for example, you can also appear or appear on free red laptop and nothing is free on your website. So just to be sure that you qualify your traffic, we work a lot on match types, match types and exact is the first we can control because we know that it's exactly the keyword we bought. So first we activate exact match type, then uh, we worked on ads and redirection, that were the way I was talking just before, make uh, A-B testing on ads and then on landing pages. In the, on the website, everything were uh, going to the home page, and uh, we try to have more specific redirection. For example, for people who were looking at uh, Mercedes, we go to a Mercedes page. That's not really obvious, but uh, sometimes they want to have a Mercedes. So you, we try just to have something more specific, and then we try to just clean the account by removing all doubles. Google can't understand two, key, two same keywords in different campaigns. He, he, he will see one is as a better quality score than the other one. For example, I'm selling iPhone and I have a campaign iPhone and I have a campaign iPhone 4. If I buy iPhone with the two campaigns, probably Google will say one time, one ad, the other time, another one. You will never have the two at the same time, and your two keywords won't have the same quality score. So it can be really dangerous. So remove all the doubles, uh, just um, reorganize a bit all campaigns. Uh, for example, there were, they had, I think, 5,000 campaigns with no click. That's a, uh, that don't need. So uh, Google sees that you have many keywords with no click. Uh, okay, so, but uh, it's always <coughs> you know, don't buy the dictionary, but only relevant keywords. So we just erase that kind of uh, uh, keywords, and then we uh, restructure the content campaign and just uh, maximize share of click by budget allocation. So it's not that much. But on the first uh, months of uh, traffic, just to see about match type, at the beginning, so the blue part is broad match type, the red part is exact match type, and phrase is in green. So we had 80% of clicks in broad match type. We had 75% uh, of cost in uh, broad match type, and 69% uh, of conversion in broad match type. What you can see there is that we have 80% of click, 69% of conversion. So, conversion rate is lower on broad match type. Why we did? Okay, we had here 
60% of click on exact match tab, the rate part. Okay, I can see the number. 74 of cost and 79 of leads. Look, again, the conversion rate is better on exact match tab, only 70% of clicks and 79% of conversion. Why don't erase broad match type? Because we don't know all requests that can be asked by, by uh, the users. So we need to keep a bit of a broad match type to be sure that we don't lose traffic. It's, uh, for example, if you don't try to have new prospects, at the end of the year, if you lose, if you are losing clients, you will lose revenue. It's exactly the same with keywords. If you only have the same keywords listing, and you don't try to have new ones that are relevant, at the end of the year, your campaign will just have a drop. 